A group of Navy veterans is revealing which naval warship they want to bring to Jacksonville as a museum. I'm Tanika Hughes. And I'm Ben Becker. It comes after Action News. Jack's Jenna Bourne reported in December the Navy reversed course on its decision to donate the USS Adams to Jacksonville. Action News. Jack's Jenna Bourne is live at the shipyards. Jenna, they're finally ready to reveal the ship. And the U.S. Navy just confirmed to me within the past hour they plan to scrap the USS Adams, the ship that was supposed to go to the left of this pier. Now a group of local veterans wants the USS Orlick to go here instead. And they're not stopping there. They want to transform this grass lot next to the Berkman 2 building into a veterans park. Some people call us the little train that could. Over the past decade, the Jacksonville Historic Naval Ship Association has experienced setback after setback in their dream to bring a naval warship museum to the shipyards. When the Navy decided in December not to donate the USS Adams, Dan Bean and his group didn't give up. We believe in this project. They found another ship, the USS Orlick, now on display in Louisiana. Bean says they've done the tests and are confident the Orlick would survive the tow to Jacksonville. But first, they need approval from the city to do it. And while they're at it, they want to transform the lot next to the Berkman 2 into a veterans park, which would include moving the city's veterans memorial wall here. It's a more serene, a more comfortable place than frankly being in the middle of a parking lot. The president of the Duval County chapter of Vietnam Veterans of America tells me the majority of his officers oppose moving the veterans memorial wall here. He says it's not a respectful place because it's across from the jail. In April, the Berkman 2 developers withdrew their plan to develop that lot into this entertainment complex that would have included the Warship Museum. Incoming Downtown Investment Authority CEO Lori Boyer tells me she does plan to meet with this group about this project, but it won't be for at least a few more weeks. Reporting live at the shipyards, Jenna Bourne, CBS 47 Action News Jax.